Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm actually getting ready to shoot another project right now, but I thought I would film a quick nose contour tutorial because I think I'm overdue for that and I'm gonna be doing that anyway. So this is the final like nose look. I haven't got my lashes or my lips or anything like that yet, but this is just a quick tutorial on how to slim your nose. I am half Japanese, so I have kind of like an Asian nose. So if you have like a wider nose, then I think that this contour tutorial is perfect for you. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. Okay, so I already have my foundation on and I haven't set anything yet. I'm going to keep it a little bit wet so that I can use it to blend. And I'm going to go ahead and go in with my Smashbox contour stick. And since I'm a little bit wide in the middle and at the tip of my nose, that's exactly where I'm going to bring in. So what I'm doing here is just creating a fake shadow so that my nose looks slimmer in the areas where it's wide. This is my favorite nose contouring brush. I've been using this for years. This is the e.l.f. contour brush and it's like the perfect shape and density to blend everything in on the contours of your nose. Okay, so I just blended the contour and then you can already tell it looks like I got a nose job. Like, it's that simple. I'm just gonna go ahead and define everything with some concealer. What I'm using is the Maybelline New York Concealer. This is in the shade Sand. And I'm also going into my under eye area with the color NW20 from the MAC Concealer. So I like to use the MAC Concealer because it has a little bit of an orange hue to it. So I use this for my under eye area here. And then for this area here, I use the Maybelline Yellow Tinted One because it kind of brightens the area and actually brings it out. I'm blending in the orange with the MAC 287 brush. And now I'm going in with the Maybelline concealer which has the yellow tint and I'm going to go on the sides of my nose. So to blend in the nose area, I'm using an e.l.f. Cosmetics Beauty Blender and these little sponges are awesome because you don't have to wet them, they're actually meant to be used dry. So I really like them because I don't want to get up and go and wet a beauty blender and all that work, so this is really helpful. And I'm just going to push this into the sides of my nose and blending it into that contour that we created earlier. So I'm almost done with the nose contour, I'm just going to do the rest of my skin, finish my eye look and I'll be right back. Um, I'm just going to do a little finishing touch at the end where I highlight right here and here so I'll go ahead and come back on camera for that. Okay so I just finished my eye makeup and the rest of my skin so now what I'm going to do to finish up my nose contour is to just highlight um, the nose with the Becca Champagne Glow Palette and I like to use this color right here called Pearl and I'm going to use a Sigma E34 brush and I'm just going to apply it between my eyes and at the tip of my nose. So I like to say that it kind of looks like an exclamation point because it's going to be a little bit longer here and then a circle right here. So now you can see what a big difference the nose contour makes. I hope this video was helpful. If you did find it helpful, give it a thumbs up and leave a nice comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.